BioVendor has a long tradition in the development of immunoassays as well as antibodies and recombinant proteins. We have decided to use our rich experience with the development of protein biomarkers immunoassays, and now we are moving to a new challenge that is detection and quantification of microRNA. Our ELISA kits for the determination of biomarkers in various clinical fields have gained a good reputation and were frequently referred in top class scientific journals. Now I would like to briefly introduce you to microRNAs. It has been known for a long time that genetic information is realized by protein synthesis. But 90% of human genome is actively transcribed to the non-coding RNAs and approximately 4% of total non-coding RNAs are microRNAs. MicroRNAs can control gene expression by inhibition of translation. They are quite small because they are usually only about 19 to 23 nucleotides long. What's very important, once again, is that microRNA regulate gene expression at the post-transcription level. The first microRNA was identified in C. elegans in 1993 by Victor Ambrose and Gary Rufkun, and in 2006 was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine to Andrew Fire and Craig Mello for their discovery of RNA interference, gene silencing by double-strand RNA. Transcriptions of microRNAs are regulated by TF's binding in the promoter region of the microRNA genes. Primary transcripts of microRNA are transcribed mostly from intern of protein coding genes by RNA polymerase II and are severe clebases long. In the following step is primary mRNA partially processed into a precursor microRNA by the RNA's free dosha in the nucleus. GDP-dependent protein exporting 5 transports a precursor microRNA out of the nucleus. These are further cleaved by another RNA-free enzyme dicer to produce 20 base pair double-stranded intermediate species. One strand of the duplex has a low thermogenomic energy that ends up becoming metro microRNA. Metro microRNA is incorporated into the microRNA-induced silencing complex, MyRisk which guide the complex into the complementary region of the target mRNA open reading frames and promoter regions. Independence of complementarity causes presence of my risk, degradation of mRNA or inhibition of mRNA translation. For us it is most important that microRNAs can be secreted from cells and are present in the circulation. MicroRNA can enter the circulation by two ways by passive release from broken cells after injury or after cell apoptosis or necrosis. And the second way is active secretion in various multiprotein complexes or via exosomes or other vesicles. MicroRNA is small but powerful. Any imbalance in regulation of microRNA can impact or cause various disease. Therefore, they can be used as biomarker for cancer, cardiovascular disease, neurological disease, diabetes, and many others. MicroRNAs as biomarkers offer many applications. They have the potential to allow us to predict, diagnose, and monitor disease. And now I would like to summarize the benefits of microRNAs as biomarkers. So, expression of microRNA is tissue and disease specific. They are ideal biomarkers for early diagnosis. Tissue constantly release microRNAs into circulation and are high stable in biofluids, as you will see in the next picture. It has been repeatedly confirmed that circulating microRNAs are high stable even in high condition, including extreme temperature, extreme pH, and extended storage and frozen condition. For example, multiple free store cycles and storage and room temperature don't affect microRNA level. And in this picture is perfectly shown how sexy the topic of microRNAs is. Number of microRNA publication has increased rapidly over the last years. 
It has been published 70,000 publications in the last 15 years. And almost half of the total number is related to cancer. I believe you have found something interesting in my presentation also for your work. Recently, we have launched enzyme immunoassays for microRNA quantification, tumoria kits, and RNA isolation kits. Visit us at our website, where it's really easy to find an ELISA kit, protein, antibody, or microRNA immunoassay meeting your needs. Feel free to contact our microRNA team and ask for help.